<laughs> Welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily on CCTV, and it is such an honor. Yeah. To, to have to do it. two founding members of Soul Winners. Wow. Okay, on definitely. Our couch. Mm. Yeah. So they're in their seats. <laughs> <laughs> so let me introduce them. Sam. Yeah. Oh, so good morning. Good How morning. are you both? So Sam, of course, is the leader, yeah, but yes. they are both. You're both founding members. Yes. So uh, Robert, mm. I'll start with you. Tell us All a right. bit about mm. the group. Twenty-seven years in the making. Mm. Some people yeah. here were in diapers. Yeah. Seven years. <laughs> yeah. so tell us about it. Well, <laughs> well, 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 um, we started as friends, you know, in the Apostolic Church. We were playing mm. for the, the church, you know, in our assembly. Mm. And we had this uh, desire to, to be professional musicians. I, I, I don't know where that came from. Mm. We loved music. We, we, you know, put our everything into it and we're hoping to do something good. So we're wondering when and, I mean, where the break would come. Mm. One day, something just happened. We recorded something. Uh, uh, one pastor uh, took a, a reverend Oswasa took uh, a tape, played on wow. in on a uh, radio station, and then it just blew, it blew up like that, mm. like wow. that. It was some twenty something years back. You know, it was a it's a process. You know, as as students, you go to school, come back, we can't play, and then uh, this thing started. We registered the group somewhere in nineteen ninety. To between 19, like I said, it's a process, yeah. but we've been around for some 27 years or plus. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus. Super, that's, that's yeah. as long as the, the Fourth Republic. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Anyway, so um, it's it? important. <laughs> it's important that that we have you know um, soul winners join us now. Now the name soul winners. Why 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 that name? Let me let me put that to you. Okay. Well, we believe that. Uh, the talent and the gift God has given us is not uh, just for entertainment. Mm -hmm. We used to play music and then people bring testimonies, said, mm -hmm. oh, you played and my, my limb was, it was hurting, but yeah. through the dancing and everything, wow. you know, I've been you know, relieved. And then, so we realized that this thing is not just for entertainment, but mm -hmm. yeah. it's for a purpose. So we decided, look, let's be serious with this and focus and, and win souls for Christ with uh, what we do. You know, uh, so that's how come we, we, we choose. So the in it. Yes. Yes. So yeah. in it. Now yeah. moving but forward, this thing coming up. We do have an, an amazing mm. concert this mm. Sunday. Can you yes. tell us a bit about it and how we can attend? Yes, on this Sunday, 28th, um, at 4 p.m., mm. we're having this concert that we put together. Uh, it's so in We have Edwin Datsin. We have uh, Eugene Zuta. Yeah. You know, we'll be playing with them. They'll be playing, some, we'll be playing our songs. They'll be leading wow. the songs. So it's like wow. a collaboration with... Yeah. Those friends of us, they are very good musicians. We have the Breakthrough Choir too on there. We have Choco Jazz Band opening for us. I said it's a beautiful, mm -hmm. you know. So we're group. looking at it right now. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the that's the poster on screen. Um, it's going to be a lovely a, a lovely program. We're starting at four o'clock. You know, Ghanaians, we, we're in our time. Ghana in time. <laughs> but this this is GMT time, not Ghana man time. Okay. Four o'clock. Mm -hmm. We hope that uh, you know. People oh, just come. Okay. It's a free concert. Wow. Yes, it's a free concert. Someone asked wow. uh, how we can make money. Yeah. Uh, this is a soul winning concert. Mm. Just come and be part of it. Aww. Share the word, you mm. know, spread the word. Wow. Wonderful. Mm. You know, hopefully someone will be saved. Someone mm. will get some, wow. you know, okay. relief now, from now, Many people have said that there's a uniqueness to your music. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just very different. And then it's you've really had... innovative. Yes, you've had back-to-back -back hits, you know, from the likes of Abolo oh, and, the, yeah. and the No Jesus, No Life, like okay. all those songs. So yeah. I want to know the inspiration behind the music and, you know, some particular hit songs that you, you turned out in, in Ghana. Uh, let, me, let me come to you on that one. Okay, with the music, uh, we have uh, decided to use our local, you know, stuff. Hmm. We have the pan logo and uh, stuff. We decided to use it, you know, not the foreign stuff. It's hmm. also good, but yeah. what we have, we we, we like to Some publicize lines, it. Yeah. Yes, good, good. So good. when you go outside, people like to listen to what you bring to them. Hmm. They they have their stuff. Mm -hmm. They listen to it always. Mm -hmm. But when they have something new, you know, hmm. they will really tap into it. So we decided to use that for you know our administration and that's how come we play the walabulu the hiyowe and stuff see it's just different it's just different <laughs> In, interestingly uh, uh, yeah. we, we, we had some serious challenges when we we're introducing this these mm -hmm. equipment into church Why? yes uh, some some thought it was fetish you know mm. then back then you wouldn't have the Gome in church, you wouldn't have the Palogo drums in church, mm. so you usually would see it at, at you know at the first, I mean, fetish, uh, even the, the traditional vibe that you have, mm. people yeah. can even see, yeah, you know, 
And one, one pastor, late pastor of me, so he rest in peace. One day we played a song in church. It was a reggae song. It was, you know, the No Jesus, Jesus No Life. life. Yeah. Before he ministered, you know, prior to that play, playing that music on the, on the day, people are busy, you're playing Bob Marley's song, you're playing, you know, reggae and it's on Christian. And, yeah. He, after listening to song, the song carefully, he just stood behind the podium and said, Where wherever you guys go, make sure Where you play no Jesus, no life. He listened to the lyrics. It's not just about the instrumentation, the, you know, the danceability of the music. You know, our music is not just for entertainment, like Sam said earlier. Yes, you need to dance. You need to, you know, move your limbs. You have to praise God. But in there, the messiness. content in there is the most important hmm. thing. We used to do this. After writing our songs, we take to our pastor for, for validation. Hmm. You see, you listen to the song. And sometimes they will, they will tell us, okay, do this, take this out, you know, and then if it's okay, we put it out. And it, that is one of the reasons why, you know, the music make, makes, uh, you know, impact. So the contents, yeah. the lyrics are actually winning souls because yes. you, there's a message in there. Exactly. Usually biblical. Yes. There's a biblical message in there. You listen That's to good. every soul winner's song. At the end of it, you hear something that, you know, uh, ministers to you about salvation or, or mm -hmm. something. That's the focus. But, but, but share a bit with us, because you guys, we've, we've been around, right? We hear gospel musicians come. In a few years, we don't hear them again. How have you been able to maintain and, and remain relevant? Every song you, you bring, everyone is excited. I used to dance to your music when I was a kid. You're singing here, I'm still dancing. How have you maintained that relevance? In fact, music we do is, is not just about entertainment. That is one thing. Mm -hmm. It's been a difficult road. We've ha had ups and downs. There are things we can't even talk about. You know, we've gone to, to a point of even, even collapsing. Wow. Mm. Yes. You know, we've had you know, people come in and people leave. But it's more of an institution, we would say. You come in, you learn, you, you play your part. If you leave, someone else comes in and you know, plays their part. And that is how it, it, it should be. So, I mean, there's no going extinct. You know, unless we decide not to do it again, or we all perish somewhere, which is not going to happen. By Amen. So now, we're we all looking forward to your upcoming event, but then I'm sure many people out there would want to contact soul winners for their big and small events. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is an opportunity wow. for, for them to get to know how they can contact you. But then we'll put uh, your, your, your event, I'm sure we have it uh, mm -hmm. on the screen. It should yeah, be on the screen sure. any moment from now. So uh, we're really grateful. Mm -hmm. That you join us yes. today, Robert on Breakfast Day. and Samuel Otsu. Mm. It's been a real pleasure. I think yeah. you have a very good set. I mean, Aww. it's a very serious uh, yeah. day. I hope you will come back again. Definitely, sure, sure. definitely. So, <laughs> Low <laughs> Winners <laughs> concert is in the background. Yeah. Uh, so, Winners Live in Concert is called uh, Praise Three, sure. and uh, there will be DVD recording on that. Uh, okay, of course. So it's happening on the twenty eighth of April, twenty nineteen, and it's starting at four p. M is a breakthrough prayer chapel international. Uh, yeah, I, that's, gigi. that's where you can find it, and admission is free. So make sure you come to this particular event as well. Anyway, 